Hi guys! We haven't recorded for a while, but now we're back on track and we're starting with a very, very interesting subject and that is UI testing. What are we going to cover? First, we're going to see what is user interface, types of user interface, what is UI testing, testing approaches, UI testing challenges, and the benefits of UI testing. UI definition and types. So, first we have to understand what is user interface in order to understand how to test it. User interface is not just one simple thing. There are different types of user interface. User interface is the thing that users are facing with, that users are dealing with in order to use the application or the website. The main types are CLI and GUI, user interfaces. Command line interface allows users to interact with the application by typing commands into a terminal. On the other hand, a graphical user interface enables users of an application to perform the task they want by what? By interacting with graphical components, such as windows, buttons, text fields, and so on. Think of an UI as something that end user will interact with while using a piece of software. For example, User opens Facebook and clicks on search option. He watches profile uh, pictures, stories, every basically basically every action that user performs on the software is done on its user interface. Most applications today um, adopt a GUI. That's definitely true, both for web and mobile applications. So this video uh, focuses primarily on this type of interface. So whenever we say UI testing, we will t talk about the GUI testing. GUI testing is a subset of UI testing. In order to understand more these types of user interfaces as types of communication, interaction with the application, don't just think about the CLI and GUI, think about a special user interface where user uh, gives command by voice or by gesture. Like, like when you uh, give a command by voice to Siri to do something. One example just. Now, what is our base thing we have to cover now? What is UI testing? What does UI testing involve? What are the main goals of performing it? Uh, as we mentioned in some of our previous videos, every type of testing needs to have its own goals and criteria for creating the test scenarios and test cases. UI testing is basically about checking two things. First thing, how your application handles user actions performed with mouse, keyboard, and other input devices. And another thing, we have to check whether the visual elements like links, buttons, text fields, fonts, colors, and stuff like that, how are they displayed? Are they displayed correctly? And do they work as intended? And of course, one of the most important factors uh, about UI testing is that we have to include usability. What does that mean? What, what, what is usability? That means that we have to answer a few questions. Does your application work? In other words, does it help the user to achieve their goal when using it? Is the application easy to use? So is it user friendly? Or do people struggle with it? Is interface clear and intuitive? Or is it in case? So basically, UI testing means testing the visual elements to verify that they are functioning according to requirements 
in terms of functionality and performance. The real examples with all kinds of stuff that are usually checked when doing UI testing will be covered in the next video. Now we're talking in general about UI testing, so you can be prepared for understanding the example. Now, as in every type of testing, we have to see what kind of approaches do we have. Of course, basic approaches, manual and automated, but what should we use more? The best thing in your project is to have as much test cases automated, but this can lead you on the wrong path. Be careful. Why? Because Everything that is automated has also to be also maintained, which consumes time and money. And after all, not everything can be automated, especially when talking about the UI automation test. Why is that a case? Why can't everything be automated? Because UI testing is not just about checking if the fields have proper restrictions and that some other properties like proper dimensions, colors, stuff like that. But you also have to check the look and feel of the application. How does it look like in general? Is it pleasant for viewing? Are the special parts of tests like of task, text like links, for example, are there enough visible? Is, is the UI confusing? So that those scenarios, though that look and feel cannot be automated. But on the other hand, automation tests are less time consuming. Many automation frameworks have built-in test reports, while on the other hand, a human tester, manual tester, would have to write that report after uh, performing the testing. And what else do we have, like pros and cons for automation and, and, and manual testing? Well, automation tests, if are written correctly, they have each time, no matter how many times they are executed, they always have correct test results. And on the other hand, if a manual tester does it, maybe if he's exhausted or after all, he's just a human, he makes mistakes. Maybe in some cases, he will not notice an issue. And um, automated tests can be executed in the same time, like in multiple browsers, devices, and of course, human being cannot do that kind of multitasking. What are the benefits of UI testing? Why did we decide to cover this. Why is it so important? Well, let's say a few things about that. Why? Few reasons. First thing, if there is a bug on UI, it can possibly prevent user from completing the task he needs. Very often, UI is the only way of user interaction with the application. For example, if you cannot post the photo on Facebook. <laughs> You're not expected to have the available API that uploads a photo and to be able to upload it by sending a post request to that API using Postman. That's madness. It's not expected and it's not what's happening in the real world. So if you're not able to do it using the UI of the application, you're not gonna do it anyhow. Second thing. UI works correctly, but has a confusing interface. That results in you losing users. User will abandon it, and he will move to another more user-friendly application. What do you do, for example? If you install a new application on your phone, try it for a bit, explore it, and if you conclude that it has a stupid UI, slow UI, or simply does not fulfill your visual expectations, what will you do? You will very likely uninstall it and right away and install another one. And the basic thing actually is that users see 
and user interact with the UI. So that's something they use. They some, that's the way how do they communicate, how do they use the software. It has to be shiny. It has to be shiny for that reason, because that is what they see. So some serious bugs that cannot be manifested easily in UI, for example, can harm app reputation less than some visual component that is not behaving properly. For example, if you see on Facebook some icon or some button and it is harder to click on that button because of it, the world will find about it in minutes and user will complain. Many users will complain. But if something in the background does not work, there is a chance that it will be fixed before even some user notices it, that it was broken. So it, it, it costs less, less money. Challenges, of course. If we're using any type of testing, we always have some challenges. What are the challenges when talking about UI testing? UI changes very often. That means that when it is tested, once it is tested, it doesn't mean that it's, it's tested for good. Every change of an UI component, if it's connected to many other components, of course UI components, can cause a lot of bugs that must be found, that must be registered and fixed and retested. And sometimes UI is not the same in different countries. So that complexity has to be taken into account if that should be supported in your project. So you have contents, for example, that in one country is allowed to be seen and in the other one is permitted. That's just one example. And that's something that you must think about where we're talking, when talking about the UI testing. Another uh, challenge is that UI tests are slow. Whether if we're talking about the manual tests, because tester, manual tester has to do step by step and it takes time. And the same thing about the automated UI tests. They are slow because ev even if we write them, every step in the automation test will be executed in the selected browser it, it, it has to wait for the execution until the previous one is finished. So that is why UI tests are almost always executed at the end of the testing pipeline. Testing pipeline is something that will for sure be discussed in some future videos. But for you to know, it's just that uh, if we're saying they're doing it at the end of the testing pipeline, it means that they're executed the last. Third thing, cost of writing UI tests, scripts. So we have long execution, as already mentioned, then maintenance of the testing of those tests you, writ you have wrote, then it takes time and money. But what can we do? we can have good testing framework. So we have to find one and use it. We have to have a good structure, uh, project structure. Uh, so anytime some UI component is changed into development code, we don't have to go in our automation project and, and change some file, in, in, in change some data in 10 files, but rather than in two, for example. So um, that's pretty much it for today's presentation. And for, as always, we have prepared questions for you to check your knowledge. And of course, on the next slide, there are answers on it. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget that in the next part, we're going to have the example with all the things that are done when talking about UI testing. And if you like, subscribe 
and enjoy and see you in the next video. Bye!